dark. You can almost hear the hustle and bustle of students gathering, talking, and rushing to get to class. There's a restricted section of the university. You think the students never noticed who comes and goes? It Glad does you're here. not matter Maybe the what two you of may us together have talk some seen sense or heard machine. before you graduated. Overseer. That is not my concern. Oh, I see one of your residents has arrived. Come here. We need to discuss this ridiculous request of yours. The overseer mentioned there would be more people coming. Assuming there even is faculty. I might be the... No, it does not. And for the record, I was the dissenting opinion on fast tracking your overseer assignment. You are not pushing your way through me. The condition of the outside world is not my problem. I see neither of you are going to relent. Very well. There is a problem you can help me with. This university needs graduates. And while your overseer has already been through the program, you 
are living and breathing enough to join this year's class. This is ridiculous. Even if we had four years to waste, which we don't, the university is empty. There's no professors anymore. Emergency protocols allow the Mr. Handy janitorial staff to run entrance straight through to the final exam. Their ability to run the ball simulation is experimental, but more than adequate for the task. You will be given a scenario that you need to accomplish in the vault simulation area. The handies will play as the residents you need to oversee. Producing quality graduates is the very found of my purpose, a purpose that has gone unfulfilled for far too long. Glad we agree in this test scenario. Your fall has divided into factions. You must resolve the conflict any way you see fit your chief of security will fill you in on the details good luck i'm not familiar with this test scenario professor bot must have come up with it on his own complete your task and we can talk about granting you permission to the restricted way Yeah? Heck of a boiling pot he'll stepping into. Little tiff between the engineers and the med staff is ready to blow. Um, I don't quite know how to respond to that. Getting back to it, there was a reactor leak. Kellerman. Head engineer's apprentice rushed in to fix it. Poor kid got a full dose of rads. Because of what happened next, Dr. Loras, head of the medical team, refused to send in help. Quarantined the reactor area so nobody died trying to go in there. Head Engineer Brass accused the doctor of murder. Then, a couple days later, people noticed that one of the doctor's assistants, Estella, was missing. Everyone thinks it's a revenge killing. An eye for an eye. No. There's no evidence. No weapon, not one speck of blood. I'm at a loss, Obis, here. Need you to make sense of all this. Sorry I couldn't be of more help. I'll be here if you need me, Obis, here.
Overseer. I'm so glad you've stepped into this little mess of ours. I'm sure you'll resolve the matter swiftly. I don't have a feud with Brass. He has a feud with me. I'm only doing my job, Overseer, looking out for the health of the Vault. And I'm sorry to say that, in my medical opinion, the Chief Engineer is suffering from paranoia and revenge fixation. We can't let that fester. Simple. You can authorize me to place the head engineer under medical supervision. A combination of chems and therapy will do the rest. There might be some protest, but I think our combined authority will keep that to a minimum. Some treatments can seem horrible at first, but... But it's your decision, of course. Let me know if you want to discuss it again later. How can I help? Like I said, uh, in my opinion, he needs psychiatric treatment. Oh, nasty business. But I'm not going to apologize for it. It had to be done. As doctors, we take an oath to do no harm. But sometimes, we have to choose between saving one life or saving several. I'm at your service. I'm afraid I can't really comply with that request, Overseer. The reactor is under quarantine. The radiation could kill you. Very well. As long as you take all the necessary precautions. Here. Anything for the vault, Overseer? Oh no, there's a full medical staff. They're bandying about somewhere.
as usual. Like I said, uh, in my opinion, he needs... Simple. You can authorize me to place the head engineer under medical... There might be some protests. An ideal solution, Overseer. I'd expect nothing less from you. Overseer, huh? We'll see. I do, huh? And why is that? I think about Dr. Loris all the time, what he did, what he should have done. I'll admit, my mind hasn't been on much else. But what do you expect me to do, huh? Submit to Loris and his team, you mean? <laughs> Didn't expect this from you, Overseer. But I get it. The wind's got to blow in one direction. Just figured I'd be on the right end of it. I'll go quietly. Time for a long walk to Loris's office. about who wins, Brass. This is about getting you the treatment you desperately need. Yeah, whatever. Let's just go. It's always ugly choosing sides, but it's better than letting factions divide the ball. you passed the test, barely exceeding my low expectations of you. Yes, I suppose we have a deal. You are officially a graduate of Bolton University, entitled to access to all areas. Back down in the vault. Simulation space is a maintenance. Continuing search for fugitive. You passed. Hooray. Yes, I back down in the vault. 
Simulation space is a maintenance area. It conceals a secondary room that I believe will have what you are looking for. It was almost good to see you again, Professor Vaughn. Yes, Overseer, I suppose it was. Congratulations on one of your residents passing the program. You must be proud. Actually, I am. Afraid I don't have my old cap and gown to share with you. Hopefully, what we'll find in the restricted wing will be even better. to the open and can identify yourself. All abiding citizens have intruder to be identify yourself. This is it. Somewhere past this maintenance area is the restricted wing.
Careful. This has to be it. Let's see what they left behind. Once the rumor mill gets it right, there is a treasure in that vault. All of America's gold reserves. Even getting into the vault at all is gonna be a challenge. Let alone dealing with that buffet line of intrusion countermeasures. But the reward? Put aside the base instinct of hoarding wealth. What could we do with a vault full of precious metals? Exactly. No more barter or wild, unregulated proxies. It won't happen overnight, but one day we could have leverage to create a new economy. Property rights, taxes, laws, a government. We won't be able to do it alone. We need help. Even more importantly, we need people to buy in to see that gold is their future. Fortunately, you just made contact with two large groups of people who both seem to have their own talents. Not my first pick, but it's hard to argue with your point. Do me a favor, talk to them both. Get all the options on the table.
think we're stealing their shit. Don't they know we were here first? I got nothing to say to you. Break it, you buy it. And if you ain't got the chavos, I'll be taking my payment in blood. Fight another day, huh? Shrug off a good name to Fight you. Maybe I can get that old watch working tonight. She'll make a pretty good detonator. Merchandise is guaranteed to kill what you want dead. People need to appreciate quality protection. They don't know how lucky they are to have me here. Look, but don't touch Pallas. Tired of cleaning blood prints off my goods. So many humans around. Makes head hurt. Have you seen those Mothman cultists yet? Straight out of the loony bin, I tell ya. Nice to have a conversation with one of you 76ers. A lot of your people would like nothing better than to wipe us out, or at least try to. But that would be tough. Just ask Foundation. I think they're fighting against a basic truth. The world's ended. Civilization, laws, and all that government propaganda is more dead now than it was before the war. Now, the sooner they learn that, the better. Where's the percentage in it? Say we attack, guns blazing. Best case is we win. And after that, what then? Who do we shake down for caps and food? And I, for one, <laughs> not cut out to be a farmer. close to your nest, or you'll regret it. Is it daytime out there? What kind of you trouble did he get into this time? time. time. Yeah. 
Appalachia belongs to us. Looks like your little inoculation worked like a charm. We've established your usefulness, but don't mistake our gratitude for hospitality. Yet here you are. What tells me you're not here just to waste my time? You want something. It must be important, else you wouldn't be barging in here like you run the place. Out with it. I got my own problems to worry about. Well, if that don't pique my interest, please go on. What exactly, pray tell, is inside this Vault 79? This is a fascinating turn of events, ain't it? The things I could buy with that gold. You know, I heard rumors about it round here. Of course, the last sucker who tried to use the location of the trove oh. as a bargaining chip is still dangling from a wire outside, as we speak. Liars get wires, you dig? So let's pretend for a moment I don't believe. What you got to convince me? Mm, you ain't wrong. Getting into one of them vaults sure would set us up for a while. Is that a... nah, put me. Shit. You know I could just kill you and take this, right? You got a lot to learn before you can roll with us, 7-6. Oh, I like the cut of your jib. Maybe there is hope for you. Toss it up on the board and let's see what you got here. You want some? Great. Thanks to that damn broadcast, we got all the rats crawling out of the woodwork. For real? Tell me you ain't heard about that garbage bot of a Miss Nanny broadcasting far and wide about some oh. trove hidden in Appalachia. We come back to Appalachia and we're neck deep in these so-called settlers. Not to mention cultists, bloodthirsty bandits, you name it. There really is a trove of unimaginable anything here. It belongs to us. We're the ones gonna benefit off it. Not some parasites who never fought for this place. We may have checked out for a bit, but that don't mean we're down to share. Going on too many years now. And I didn't bring him back here for nothing. You wanna underestimate us? You take your shot. Put me. <laughs> you mean, what do I think of a bunch of trespassers living off our land? For now, they're just easy pickings. They can build their little town and do all the hard work while we shake them down every chance we get. If it doesn't matter to Crater, it doesn't matter to me. Always Thoughts? When I got for them are bullets. Luckily, I got some folks who are real passionate about taking those bucket heads down. You want to know more? I'll talk to Pierce over in the war room. It's behind Irie's shop. Just don't get in the way. You'll regret it. What kind of trouble did he get into this time? Catch you later, 7 6. You lost? I don't take kindly to trespassers. You better show yourself the door. Is that a... No, couldn't be. Who the hell let you in?
Always... What the hell do you want this time? Don't forget. What kind of trouble did he get into this time? I got my own problems to worry about. Ah! Never should have thrown in with that guy in the first place.
See you again. I hope the scanner module you found does the trick. I just can't shake these nightmares. Floating in space forever. Just... why?